what's up you guys and welcome back to gal in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to turn a low res logo graphic into a high res vector logo that you can use in many different product mock-ups or any sort of print materials that requires a lot of scale so the logo that i'm using is actually invato and invato is one of my favorite resources for unlimited assets so it's actually called invato elements and you can get unlimited assets whether it's graphics whether it's audio video it's really cool they have all sorts of really cool graphic templates so if you're looking to create any product mock-ups specifically within photoshop you can select photoshop and you can browse and actually place the logo your own font into a really realistic mock-up they also have really cool stuff like double exposure add-ons for photoshop so if you see here you can just take two photos and create an instant double exposure look so it's super cool if you go to premiergal.com slash Invato Elements, you can sign up. So just sign up and you can get unlimited downloads. You don't have to worry about downloading one asset and having it not work out because you have unlimited that you can use. This is just a low res version of the Envato logo that I downloaded from Google. If you zoom in here, you can see that it's quite pixelated. So the first thing that I like to do is just crop the image so it's just a logo and it doesn't have this excess. So I go here into the crop tool and I just crop the area around the logo like so. And then hit the check mark. Now, if we go down here into the dock, you can see it says it's just 634 pixels by 168 pixels. So that's around nine inches to 2.3 inches, which is not very much. And it's only 72 pixels per inch. For print stuff, you want it to be at least 300. So to fix that, we're gonna go up to image and go to image size. And here, I'm going to change this to 2000. But we also remember we have to increase the resolution. So what I'm going to do is increase this to 300 and you'll see that it scales it up. And it's not perfect still, we have to blur the edges next. So you're gonna hit okay. And then you can see, wow, it's a lot bigger. So just hit command zero, or you can hit control zero on a PC and it scales it to frame size. So now we need to make this a black and white image. And the reason we need to make it black and white is because we're going to be applying a curves adjustment layer later on in the tutorial, which will distort the color. So we need to make it fully grayscale so then we can reapply the true color of the logo later on. Before we do that, we wanna save this color. So what you can do is you can grab this little dropper tool and select it. And then you can see here, this is the hex code for that green. Now that's great, but what we want to do is add this to our swatches and we can just call this Invato logo and be sure to add it to your current library and hit OK. And then you'll see it appears over here underneath your library. So now we have that color saved. Now we're good to um, make this a black and white logo. So we're going to hit Command Shift U to make it grayscale. And the next thing we need to do is make the background white. We need it to be a white background in order to apply our blur. So you will see in just a second. So I'm going to select the default colors here to make sure it's a white background. Then I'm gonna go up to layer, new background from layer. And this just applies the white background. So the next step is to blur the edges. As we zoom in here, you can see it's a bit jagged. So we wanna blur it out until these lines are completely uh, straight. So to do that, we're going to go up to filter and then convert it to a, a smart object first for smart filters. Then go up to filter, blur, gosh and blur. And here is where we can go to an edge. And as you reduce the radius, you can then slide it over until it gets to the point where you start to see it be a perfect line. So around here is good, let's say just 10 and hit okay. And you can see that the Gaussian blur is applied. Now the next step, this is the cool part. So we can zoom out a bit here, just like so. And then we can select adjustment layers down here and create curves. And this is where we can use the curves over here, take this white triangle and move it over. And basically we're just cutting out that gray area 
around so it's not fuzzy. And you can see it starts to come into focus and it gets rid of that excess gray pixels around the edges. If we use the hand tool here, we can move over just to be sure everything's good over here. So we can make sure that it's fully at its correct size and it looks really good. As you zoom in, you can see there are pixels, but it's way far down and it looks so much better. So now let's hit command zero to bring it back into the frame. And now the next step is to remove the background and also make this leaf here green again, and then save it as a scalable vectors graphic that you can use in Illustrator or whatever you need it for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these layers. So I'm gonna hit shift and select both the layers, right click and merge the layers. The next step is to remove the background. So I'm going to select this tool here, the magic wand tool, and I'm going to select the layer, click the background and hit delete. And then also click the inside here of this A and E and the O. So now it's transparent. The next step that we need to do is fill this in with the color from the library. So just double click to select that color that I saved before. And then we're going to go into the paint bucket tool. And here we're just going to fill that in green. Now, as we zoom in a bit, you'll see that there is a little area where it's like a kind of a gray outline. So to get rid of that, we just want to select that area until it goes away like so. And now let's hit command zero again. And what we can do now, if we want to make this a vector graphic that we can use inside of Photoshop so we can scale it up further and it won't lose any resolution from what it is now, what you do is you hit command and you click on the inside here to select everything. You can see that it's now selected. And if you're on a PC, you would just hit control and select that thumbnail. The next thing to do is select this marquee tool and then right click anywhere on the graphic and you're going to make work path, set the tolerance at one pixel, and then you're going to select the direct selection tool and you're going to right click and create vector mask. And now it's a vector. So you can scale this up and use it as much as you want. Now, let's say you wanted to use this in Illustrator, you're just gonna go up to file, you're gonna go to export, export as, and you're just gonna choose CBG for scalable vector graphic. And just hit export all. And we can save this as uh, Envato high res. An alternate way of saving it as a vector image is by going up to file, save as, and then from format, change it to Photoshop EPS. Hit save, hit okay. So the top one here, this is our newly exported high res. You can see I can zoom in and you don't see any pixelation. In this one, it's already pixelated at this scale. So it's a huge improvement. While it's not the original vector that you design in Illustrator, it's definitely something that you can start using on any print materials. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it gets to a thousand likes, then I know that you guys like these types of tutorials and I'll be sure to do more of them. Again, be sure to check out Envato Elements Unlimited Assets. I use it all the time for all of my projects, whether it's video or photo based or even audio. And lastly, but certainly not least, a huge shout out to my newest patrons, Elise L, James F, Bob D, Wilson R, and Jerry P. I so much appreciate your guys' support for the community. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, you can head over there, pledge a certain amount each month, and you guys get freebies like direct message support, some templates, even maybe a Q&A with me. So go check it out. Once again, huge shout out to the new patrons, and I will see you guys next time.